welcome back to my channel where we are doing our back to basics series okay so we have talked about primer we have talked about foundation picking a foundation and applying foundation now let's talk concealer there's a lot of different concealers out there you have your hydrating concealer you have your brightening concealer, you have your skin tone concealer, you have, there's so many concealers I can't even keep up these days. So I have made life simple for you. I have gone through every skin type and gotten the three most rated concealers. I have gotten input on these concealers and then I'm going to show you how I conceal and how I use concealer to brighten. So First things first, we have two major concealer groups. You have the super high coverage matte concealers. You have the relatively high coverage hydrating concealers. And then you have like your run of the mill hydrating or matte concealers. My go-to concealer has been the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Concealer. I love it. It is hydrating. It has excellent coverage. I can use it to brighten or conceal. And it doesn't really settle on my lines, which is nice. Um, I have two concealers in front of me, and I'm going to show you how I do them. And there are two ways to apply concealer. Well, three, really. You can tap it in with your ring finger. Always use your ring finger when it comes to your eyes because this is the one that is going to apply the least amount of pressure. It's not going to tug. You don't want to tug at your under eye. Which leads me into brushes. They do have concealer brushes. I'm not a fan of concealer brushes. I'm also not a fan of potted concealers. Um, but there are some great potted concealers on my list here. So there's that. Um, now, one big thing to keep in mind with concealers that are wands, do not share these, especially during a time like this. Just don't, I don't recommend sharing your concealers at all. If you are just starting out as a makeup artist, you want to get one of those little palettes where you can put it on the palette and then use either a sponge or finger or a brush to tap it in place. Um, and then you have the squeezy tube ones. Those tend to be very thick, just so you know. So let's talk about how I use sponges to apply mine. And while we're doing this, we will talk about the different types of concealer. Now I'm going to go in with my actual concealing concealer. This is the Pretty Vulgar Undercover Concealer. And this is the shade Little White Lies. So for actual concealing, I use a very little amount, as you can see. Um, my face doesn't really need any actual concealing right now. And for the sake of this video, just like the foundation one, we are using the Lexi Complexion Set on one side and the Juno & Co on the other. Juno & Co, Lexi. So I'm just gonna take the corner and I'm going to start on the outside and just tap it in. You always want to make sure you get up in this little crease area, crevice, whatever you want to call it. And then I bring it up. I like to make sure I blend it down here before I bring it up because I don't want to bring too much product up there. Now, while we are doing this, because it's going to take me a second, let's talk. And you can also put it on your actual eyelid if you want. Let's talk about concealers that are good for dry skin. NARS has a soft matte. It's a nice medium coverage con concealer. It blends nicely and it's in a tube like this. Um, the Benefit Bling is actually a roll-up one. I've heard great things about it. It's very hydrating. And I've heard it has actual amazing coverage with it. They recently changed their packaging and it's adorable. Okay, so I feel like that side is nice and blended in. 
We're going to use our conceal sponge from the Luxie set and we're going to do the same thing on this side. Um, and then for a good drugstore hydrating concealer, Neutrogena Hydro Boost. It's also in a twist up, but it has medium coverage, it's hydrating, and it's easy to blend. I do know that I have used it. Um, for oily skin, NARS has a radiant foundation um, concealer. Actually, I think the soft matte is the one that's in the tub. And then the radiant is the one that's like, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's how it is. Um, it is also a medium coverage. Well, it's more on the lighter side. It's very similar to this. Um, it does conceal nicely and it has a nice radiant finish. Okay, so we're done here. Um, and then also for drugstore, Maybelline Age Rewind. Maybelline Age Rewind, I'm just going to hit on it now, is also amazing for mature skin. And it's one of my go-tos. I love the Maybelline Age Rewind. It has great coverage. It blends wonderfully. It is a, it's a tube, yes, but at the end it's like a nice soft cushion where you tap it in place. It's Oh, I love it. Which is going to lead us into mature skin. Um, Hourglass is great for mature skin. It is creamy, so it doesn't settle really quickly. Um, and it blends amazing and has great coverage as well. Along with the Too Faced Born This Way, it is... I just, I can't even, it has great coverage. It's a medium coverage. Their shade range is impeccable. It blends effortlessly. And then the finish is like a natural satin finish and it's stunning. I forgot one for oily. So let me go back to that real quick. Uh, the It Bye Bye Under Eye. It is super thick, super high coverage, and it comes in a squeezy tube. I'm not a fan of it, but if you have oily skin, it'll, y'all, it'll stay. Oh, it'll stay. Um, we're going to go in with some e.l.f. A 16 hour camo concealer. And we're going to put her right here. This is a very high coverage concealer. And we're going to use her to brighten. So, okay. Before I go um, and do my under eye, because I have a little bit more there. I'm going to use the bottom end of the conceal sponge here, and that's, we're just going to blend that in. And this is the shade Light Peach. And mm, she is pigmented. All right, and we're going to use the Juno & Co. to blend right here. That way you can kind of see the difference. Like, it stays more pigmented with this as you can see okay then we're just gonna work on blending same thing we did we're gonna mainly blend out and then up so acne prone skin Clinique now I'm gonna say this please keep in mind when you are using acne products that you are making sure that your acne products you are using are not interacting with your acne skincare. It is very, very important that you pay attention to that. You don't want to cause a reaction, but Clinique has a acne clearing. It is a medium coverage and has like a nice natural finish to it. Um, the NYX Photogenic, I have used that. I actually really do like that. It has, it's pretty full coverage. It's more of a demi matte than it is like a full blown matte. So I do really enjoy that. Now we're gonna switch sides and do the same thing. Blend out and then in. Um, and then MAC Studio Finish in the pot. That is a 
a very high coverage, a very thick concealer. It does blend nicely and I can see why someone would say that it is good for acne because it is very high coverage y'all. So as you can see, this side the coverage stayed a little bit more because my sponge didn't really absorb any of the product. On this side it became a little more sheer. So I'm going to go in with just a little bit more right here. And I'm going to let that kind of sit on my face for a second. That way I can go through and all that jazz. Okay, so for combo skin, Smashbox has a Studio Skin Hydrating one. It goes great with their 16 hour wear hydrating foundation. I love it. Um, we already talked about the Maj Maybelline Age Rewind. Again, love it. Um, and then Cover FX makes one. We're going to start blending this one though. We're going to blend out and then in. Um, I haven't tried the Cover FX one. Uh, from all my research, it is a medium coverage. And I mean, I've very few times have I heard a negative word about Cover FX. So. Now, let's touch on why I'm doing my concealer this way. If you blend, if you start by blending it out and then you blend it up, you're gonna, you're pulling less product up. So there's less chance that it will settle in fine lines and it blend, blends more seamlessly with your foundation. Now, here's the difference between these two sponges. This one, it's literally dispersing the product. It is pressing it into your skin. This one is gonna push out a little water. So it's gonna shear out your coverage a little bit, not drastically, but it's going to. Um, and in doing so, it's also soaking up some of the product. So you're not gonna have as full coverage with this as you will with this. Both products are great, do not get me wrong. I just, I almost prefer this one just a little bit. All right. So now that we are done applying our concealer, we are gonna move on to our next video. All right guys, thank you for watching. Make sure you're subscribed, make sure you hit the notification bell and I will see you in the next video.